Our next speaker is from Thailand. Um, Erpram is the director of um, the Underwater Archaeology Division of the Fine Arts Department of uh, Thailand um, and has been instrumental in um, training, um, which I think is a key uh, aspect of all of this, and in developing um, a, a, a broader sense of uh, a broader support structure for underwater uh, cultural heritage uh, preservation. Um, he will talk about safeguarding underwater uh, cultural heritage. Thank you, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I, I would like to uh, apologize that my presentation may be, make you confused because it's turned up and over on my paper. <laughs> And I, I would like to, talk, um, to, to, to um, present that um, this year is the, we, we have the celebration of uh, 100 years of fine art department. So everything is very busy in, in Thailand. So my presentation is going to make you confused, I think. Um, first of all, I, I would like to, 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 to show you that um, in Thailand we have um, uh, territory water, which is uh, close to uh, Myanmar, mm -hmm. or Burma, India, and Indonesia, also in Malaysia, and Cambodia, and Vietnam. Um, last 30 years, no, 30, 37 already, um, that we are working on underwater archaeology um, only uh, under the final department and the uh, uh, government of Thailand, which is uh, uh, many times we are cooperate with the um, um, Australian and um, uh, British and also ca ca Canadian um, archaeologists. Past um, 37 years, we, at the moment, we have um, 46 shipwreck found around the, the Gulf of Thailand. Um, as you see, the red spot, um, which is um, the shipwreck that we can locate, um, and some of them, um, I mean, only 14 that have been excavated. Um, the, blue, the blue spot on, on, on the screen, this is the information that we have got from, from the fishermen that they are uh, that they are should be some shipwreck, but as uh, and I have um, I have uh, searched on it, and then we found that um, only two um, just just last year that we found that uh, only two on on the um, GPS coordinate that it is the shipwreck. This one, and also this one. I think um, at the moment in Thailand, in the in the Gulf of Thailand, um, the shipwreck that they still remain, and I mean they they can survive because at at the uh, blue spot on on the screen, the shipwreck is laying down um, deeper than. 60 meter, so you need um, some special equipment like a mixed gas diving or technical uh, diving system to approach to the site, as the as the, the fine art department uh, allow allow us um, the underwater archaeology of Thailand um, using the trimix gas to uh, survey and excavate the shipwreck that is deeper than uh, 60 meters, as you see on, on the uh, picture that at the moment we use um, the Trimix gas and re rebreather, which is to um, uh, protect us from the dangers of the ni um, ni nitrogen toxic and also um, oxygen toxic. And when we use the um, cross-circuit rebreather, 
we can extend um, the period of working time. Many times we, we, we can stay at the 50 meters or 60 meters for, uh, uh, for a half an hour and then we can get up to the surface as, the, as we work on the school by diving gear. The shipwreck in, in <coughs> excuse me, the shipwreck in Thailand um, that we we have excavated, it is not only um, pottery um, or um, the cargoes or goods or stuff that um, we found in the cargo. It is also um, some some what should I say uh, some some cargo that. Um, Contain that is the plenty of uh, um, some other thing like um, the ivory on the right side. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the, uh, the you you see that the, the ivory which is lay on 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 the uh, between bowhead in the cargo. The, and the pottery that we found in. The shipwreck in the Gulf of Thailand, we can we can um, ca classify as um, the Thai pottery and the import pottery. The Thai pottery, which is come from um, the so-called Thai Kilsai and Singburi or in some in some some uh, record or in some information, uh, they call it. Um, and also um, the Supanburi pottery, is, it is the, the, the kill site on the western part of Thailand, uh, which is in, in Supanburi province. It is about um, 70 <coughs> kilometers uh, west of Bangkok. The Sukhothai Thai ware, as I think I, I can, I, I can uh, skip um, this uh, kind of wear because I think everyone here in in this room know um, the Sukhothai Thai uh, ancient city, which is uh, the with there there are uh, many kill sites and they uh, in later period of Sukhothai Thai or early of Ayutthaya period they export um, this kind of uh, pottery to. Uh, everywhere, I think, around the region, like a uh, Southeast Asian uh, region. But um, the um, the Chinese were um, um, on on the left, right, and also on on the lower right. This is the the the, the uh, Chinese ware that we used to um, we 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 use the dating to um, compare to, to uh, ceramic ware because, because um, in, Th in Thailand we, we cannot um, identify that which one, which, which kill um, were um, produced the uh, pottery or ceramic ware. Um, I, we, we cannot um, dating um, Back, I mean, I mean, uh, we cannot dating um, clearly um, as the Chinese way that 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 they date the the Chinese way. So we we use the um, the Chinese dating to compare to the Thai uh, ceramic, and we found that the shipwreck in the Gulf of Thailand, they are almost every shipwreck they they sell, I mean they export. Um, they export the ceramic ware or pottery. Um, during um, the 13th to 16th century, this is support um, the theory of Dr. Rosanna Brown that um, they have the mean, mean gap in uh, between 13th and uh, 15th century. This is the, the um, I think this is uh, an, the opportunity of the Thai ceramic uh, where they share the market on the mean cap period. Mm -hmm. 
And also, not only um, the, uh, the, the, the pottery, we found a lot of um, metal um, ingot, like um, the copper bar or copper ingot. The copper bar, this is, um, <clears throat> this one is, um, as we um, analyzed on the uh, sci scientific laboratory, that this one should come from uh, Japan. but. The other one, the uh, the coconut like, I mean half half coconut like, um, this one. On each piece, um, weighed more than thirty kilogram. And the composition of the metal, um, we cannot um, locate that where it come from, but the. Many of um, scientists uh, believe that this kind of uh, copper ingot should come from India. But I have asked many um, Indian archaeologists, they have never seen it in, in India before. So just wait and listen. <laughs> also lead and tin, um, which is the, we, we, we found the, um, the mining system uh, in many places in, in the western and the southern part of Thailand. And this is also um, the export uh, goods between uh, 13th and 16th century also. <clears throat> and also uh, what we found in, in the shipwreck um, is the, the, the interesting thing is the paper where we found in the, the uh, bamboo basket and also, also the bitter nut that also found in, in, in bamboo basket. This one is from um, the shipwreck very not so far from, from Chantaburi um, where, where my office is um, sitting. Um, and also the ivory uh -huh. in cargo uh, room as well. And many things, um, I, I, um, this one is from many, many uh, shipwrecks. Um, we, many, many uh, evidences that we found in many uh, shipwrecks that we are, we are very exciting that some of them is the food that they still alive I mean, they, they still uh, remain until we, we open it. Um, like um, the upper one, the, uh, I think the salt egg, I, I believe it is the salt egg, um, that is uh, uh, still remain. Also the music instrument, uh, and the key, and the, the clip, and, and I'm not sure. And also the kitchen, uh, the galley uh, equipment, and the mirror. And this one is the is one of the most most interesting for me because um, it is the red uh, box where the the lid of the um, it's not good picture here, but on on the on the box lid, it say this red made under, I mean, the, um, this book made on the day of full moon on the year of um, Chinese dog, where we can, we can calculate back to um, the 16th century. No, um, the, the number in my head is Buddhist era, so. <laughs> um, the Buddhist era is um, 2,183, uh, where the, um, this book met. The Mangkachai shipwreck that we uh, have been working very long, long time. Um, it is about two kilometers from, from the Chantaburi coast. Chantaburi is the province, um, about 250 kilometers east of Bangkok. Um, and the uh, underwater archaeology division, we have the office over there. And this shipwreck, um, we have 
working very, very, um, very close to to the site. Um, we have we, we we took five years. I mean, um, we we used um, um, when we, when there are good um, climate. I mean, the good weather, which is the, about two or three months a year, and we take we took. We took five years to work on, on this shipwreck, and we uh, record almost everything um, that um, cover um, the shipwreck. And we found that this uh, shipwreck, um, after we, we, uh, we uh, measure and uh, make a drawing plan, we, we set it up as um, a, a small model. And we uh, we know uh, we learn from from the boat structure that this is the the um, Chinese uh, canton. But the wood is thick and also hard wood that we found in Southeast Asia. It is uh, all, I think um, almost the same as the um, um, Bobby's um, Santa Cruz, where it is the hard wood um, construct by wooden nail and iron nail. On, on Chantaburi shipwreck, or, or, or we call it Banka Chai Tu shipwreck, we also found the ang, uh, wooden anchor. Where, where, um, when, when we found it, um, it, is, um, it has the uh, connect, connection, I mean, um, the rope uh, fixed the connect connection still uh, on position. And the friend from, from Japan, they, they sent me uh, the, the, this um, photo that this is, they, they say that the, this uh, photo say this is the Siamese, I mean uh, Thailand anchor where um, we, 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 that we have um, Many information that Thailand export wooden anchor to many places, to Japan, to China, and also in Southeast Asia region. And we have um, the National Maritime Museum also in Chantaburi. This building is the beautiful building that open for public. My office is behind, where it is uh, rubbish. <laughs> This is an exhibition. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm going uh, very fast. This is just an in introduction to. Um, on our activity, we have uh, many training course. We train uh, many people around the, the, the area. Uh, we, call, uh, we call it uh, volunteer training, um, which is um, the people come from um, many uh, career, like doctor, um, nurse, Police, singer, yes. <laughs> and we, we found that um, after the training, this kind of training, when the people, they learn what we are doing, and they can um, reflect to um, the public uh, more than wider than, than we, we are working. And this is uh, just, uh, I'll, I'll go very far now. Mm, the training course, which is uh, uh, under the uh, project of uh, Simeo Spafa, this one will, you will uh, you will have more information in this afternoon. Mm -hmm. And also the training course in um, the foundation course of uh, underwater cultural heritage protection which is uh, under the UNESCO uh, 2001 Annex. And also, um, I have the training course for students. And um, the, the students from Faculty of Archaeology, and we have trained uh, more than 120 um, that they can um, work <laughs> underwater already. And this is the equipment we have that we are using for, for underwater cultural heritage um, and also in, in 
in very not so far in future, we're going to have um, the remote operation uh, vehicle. That means we are not, we are no need to dive to pick it, pick it up the artifact. And this is the work, work board that we are using at the moment. And I am preparing when uh, Thai and Cambodian uh, politicians, they stop fighting. I will, I will go to Nadi. <laughs> Thank you.